guys and welcome to another travel vlog. I absolutely love how much I've had the chance to travel this year and this vlog is going to be from Singapore. So I flew into Singapore just this morning and I've had about enough time to freshen up. I'm staying at the Intercontinental at Robertson Quay here in Singapore. It's a really nice and cute little hotel room. I love how big and beautiful uh, the window is. You guys know I'm a sucker for everything natural light. I'm about to head out for the day. We're here with Singapore Tourism. I'm only going to be here for one day before heading to a really really fun adventure tomorrow if you guys follow me on instagram you will probably already know what that adventure is i'm about to do something try something for the first time um i don't want to talk about that in this vlog i want to just explore singapore in this vlog we have a whole array of things planned out for us i have a rough itinerary drawn out and given to me um and i think we're supposed to meet down in the next five minutes so what we're going to do is go along with the day's itinerary and explore singapore with singapore tourism come along On a really fun best part for you. Where all are we gonna go? Yeah, we're going around the Kapunglam area. Okay. Nice. Okay, so we're going around the Kapunglam area. We're gonna spot some really cool places. I've got my helmet on, safety first. And I think it's time to Good time? I think so. <laughs> I'm very excited. Once you hit the road, it gets a bit breezier, so it's going to be more bearable. Okay. And now it's slightly warm. That's okay. It's still fun already. <laughs> first proper stop over here has been literally at the F1 track. This is where the F1 happens and I think it's so cool that we get to stop at all these cool places. Um, right across Singapore in the area that we're in, we did notice quite a few really interesting spots that I've been known of. I definitely want to try and explore. Um, but I think it's pretty epic that we get to be on an F1 track. We're at Port Key right now. This has been stop number two with our Vespa tours. This is a really great place to come at because in the evenings and at night, um, this entire area that you're seeing across basically is completely lit up with cafes, restaurants and bars. Another place actually you should definitely look up is MBS, Marina Bay Sands, which is where they have a beautiful water uh, light and sound show that happens I think every evening. And uh, what's really great about Singapore is that even though their architecture and skyline is so futuristic and so forward and all of that, um, you still see so much of nature, so much greenery, you see these huge water bodies and I just feel like over here like you get like a really chill vibe and it's a very balanced vibe even when you're holidaying here for that matter. Um, this is stop number two at, with our Vespa tour and I think there's a third stop as well and for now we're just gonna sit here chill, take some pictures, hang around here for a bit um, and talk to the locals who are riding us around and get to know more about the area. about getting off a bike about getting off a scooter this Vespa tour was a whole lot of fun I'm gonna go ahead and insert the Instagram handle for you down below in the info box it's not expensive at all they only charge about 160 Singapore dollars per hour if you guys are here you should definitely check this out Okay, so we're inside Eon Mall here at Orchard Street right now um, one batch of people has gone off for the whiskey tasting our batch is next you guys know I don't drink, so I'm only going to be eating. I'm currently finding my way to the food court to grab a bite since we skipped lunch earlier. 
Um, hopefully, we'll find something yummy to eat. Do I click go main? Add. Add item. Okay. And then I say view cart. And then I say confirm order. Tap the buzzer on the reader. Where is the reader? Here. So this is the buzzer. And that's it. Confirm order. Would you like to submit your order? Okay. And there's a receipt printing out over here, which is so cool. Um, so I've got the receipt over here. It's that easy. I've already got myself a lychee iced tea. Now I need to go figure out how to get my food. Let's figure this. I can see my order over there, so I guess I'm just gonna wait um, and see how I get my food. Let's wait. Okay, so this completely lit up like a second ago. It was summoning me, seeing my food's ready, and now it's gone off. Um, that's me. The Spanish prawns. That's me. Thank you. Oh, that's heavy. Okay, so we're inside a mall at Orchard Street called, I think the name is Wilston Atria. It's right next to Eon at Orchard, which is just next door. Um, there's this really cute place that we're in called Picnic. It's sort of like a food court, but it's also like got like a lot of really nice uh, seating areas. As you can see around me, the theme is very picnic. Lots of greenery, park benches, all very cute. See, I've got my food and we're gonna go eat. Okay, so we're inside Eon Mall, Eon at Orchard, and we're about to go up. The whiskey distillery is here. It's supposed to be really big and grand and beautiful, and I must visit. If you like whiskey, I guess this is for you. I'm gonna try and get Rushab to drink if he agrees, because I don't drink, and I feel like you guys who might drink uh, might want a little bit of an opinion on that that I may not be able to help with. Let's see if I can convince Rushab or not. inside the whiskey distillery but I've just been told that we're not allowed to take the cameras inside so I guess this is where I'm gonna leave you for this particular location I'm gonna try and get Rushab to do the tasting for you guys he's taking shots right now So this is a vault where I can't film inside because the collection is like super exclusive but I'm gonna go take a look at what it is in the collection. Let's go! And we're out of the vault on the other side and these guys are all set to do their tastings. Look around the entire wall. Those are each like whiskey bottles. There's been so many whiskey bottles inside. So inside the vault we got to see bottles that were worth, each bottle was worth like a million dollars. And uh, we also got to see a bit that was like 75,000 US dollars for a bottle and stuff like that like pretty insane basically um, Super super luxe whiskey. So in case you guys are whiskey fans. This is probably a place you should add to your right name vegetarians are going to love this next stop also just foodies in general we're doing a veg this city food tour where we're going to be stopping in three places and cult cafe where we are right now is the first so keeping in mind that they uh, that the entire like there's this alternate food circle that's happening in Singapore they're trying to promote plant-based meals just to make sure that people get delicious food but it's also really healthy vegetarian it's this whole new movement that they're trying to start I think it's a great concept I have a little leaflet over here that I just picked up from the table um, it says that it's all about feeling good with need-free food good vibes good food 
and good fun. So you guys know I eat meat and love seafood, but I'm very open to trying vegetarian food. I love vegetarian food in general. Um, I'm looking forward to going inside here at Kalt Cafe and trying out what they have for us. I'm hungry, so let's go. cruise that I'm going to tell you about later. Right now we're at the Marina Bay Sands. This is a really really cool mall if you want to do some really cool brand shopping, luxury shopping. They actually have quite a few high street brands as well. Make sure you do come here. Uh, we're just on the outside of it and the LV glass house looks absolutely stunning. Right now we're outside the Art Science Museum. We're about to go inside to check out a few of the things that they have to show us and I think there are a few particular installations we're here to see. In any case, you guys know I'm a complete geek. I enjoy stuff like this, so I'm definitely gonna go inside and take a look at what's happening and take you guys along with me. Turn those 
those bell notifications on keep coming back for more videos there's a lot i want to share with you about the upcoming days uh, especially from the cruise of course because i'm so excited about it this is my first cruise ever so stay tuned for that and hopefully you're watching all the updates on instagram